Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by radioactive decay. You should then be able to describe the four types of nuclear radiation. I should point out that some of this material can seem a bit complicated initially, but it's not as tricky as it looks, so bear with it. Recently we looked at the idea of isotopes. We saw that isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. I'm showing you three isotopes of carbon here. Now carbon-14 is actually a radioactive isotope, so let's look at what that means. The first key idea to get is that some isotopes have got an unstable nucleus. To become stable, the nucleus gives out radiation, and scientists call this process radioactive decay. I'm showing you a radioactive atom here. As you can see, the atom's giving out radiation from the nucleus, so it's undergoing radioactive decay. Now a really important point about radioactive decay is that it's a completely random process. Scientists cannot predict when a nucleus will decay. Now the activity is the rate at which a source of unstable nuclei decay. Activity is measured in Becquerel, and that has the symbol capital B, lowercase q. One Becquerel equals one decay per second. To measure the activity of a radioactive source, we can use a Geiger-Muller tube such as this one, and you may have seen one of these in school. The count rate is the number of decays recorded each second by a detector such as a Geiger-Muller tube. Now I should point out that count rate is not the same as activity. That's due to background radiation, which we look at in a later video. OK, so we know that radioactive nuclei give out radiation. So let's take a closer look now at what this means. There are four different types of radiation which can be given out by an unstable nucleus. The first kind of radiation is called an alpha particle. We saw this before when we looked at the alpha scattering experiment. Alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons. That means that an alpha particle is the same as the nucleus of a helium atom. You don't need to get too bogged down by that idea, but you do need to remember it for your exam. The second type of radiation is called a beta particle. A beta particle is simply an electron which is ejected from the nucleus at very high speed. Now we've already seen that the nucleus of atoms does not contain electrons, so where does the beta particle come from? Well the answer is that the beta particle is formed inside the nucleus when a neutron changes into a proton and an electron. The electron is ejected from the nucleus and we now call it a beta particle. Okay, the third type of radiation is called a gamma ray. Gamma rays are not particles, they're a type of electromagnetic radiation from the nucleus. Finally, the fourth type of radiation that's sometimes given out by unstable nucleus is a neutron. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on radioactivity and radiation in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by radioactive decay. You should then be able to describe the four types of nuclear radiation.